It had previously been used as a, a conference center, although by the time we got to it, it was in a pretty tatty state and hadn't really been touched for 20 years or so. The origins are a Tudor, so a really uh, special building. We wanted a very contemporary twist. In-house, we didn't really have the skill set to do the building justice, so we certainly wanted to get specialist help that could give us a real coherent look and feel. My job as an interior designer is to take a client's concepts and ideas and by using my knowledge of colour and materials, improve upon that and leave them with a better version of their concept. The most exciting thing about this project was the mix of the old and the new. So key considerations in the common room were to maintain the integrity of what was already here and enhance it. The key design decisions were what the furniture would look like in terms of it being sculptural pieces, but that would be robust enough to deal with sixth form students. The navigational strategy was really important at Northbridge House because it's three buildings that have been joined together, it has all these weird and wonderful corridors. The strategy was to place iconic pieces of furniture in key locations. So on each level of the staircase there would be a different piece of furniture. Quite simple but slightly nicer than putting signs everywhere. For areas such as toilets and science labs that had to have a slip resistant vinyl for safety purposes, because that's such an unusual material for this age building, we went for really modern colours. Every classroom at Northbridge House has got a teach hall in it. The teach hall system is a fitted and fixed piece of furniture that incorporates the interactive whiteboard, storage for the teacher, and has an attached teacher's desk for them to work at. The best way to understand the space is to go to site, wander around it, and get a feeling of how it works and how the spaces interact with each other. This building has the most amazing ceilings in it, which is just completely inspiring before you've even started. We had a Farrow and Ball consultant come in and looked at the colours that were appropriate for the age of the building and from that I worked up a palette of colours for the rest of the rooms. I picked up floorings and fabrics and furniture details and presented that in both a electronic version and physical format so I would always sit down with physical material samples to show exactly what they are and how they work together. The benefit of sitting face to face with a client is you can read a lot from their body language you don't get that over the phone, you can sort of see if they're raising their eyebrows because you've picked a colour they don't like or it's not going to work. So it's definitely more efficient to work face to face. Pinnacle were really superb in how they worked with us. They can translate an idea into a living, breathing reality. We've been delighted with it. The staff are very comfortable here. We deal with a lot of prospective parents and new families that are coming to us and you know, the feedback's been uniformly great.